So you want to start making money with your photography? Stick around and find out how. Hey guys, what's going on? Miles here with an all new photography video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you four ways that you can earn money with your photography, and I will be sharing some tips and tricks I have used along the way. Now remember, if you have not done so already, smash that subscribe button down below. Come on, I know you wanna. And let's dive in and check out this video. Alrighty guys, so starting off with the first money making method and that is to upload photos on stock photography websites. Now wait, before you switch off, I know what you're thinking. This is the same advice as every other YouTube video. Well, guess what guys? There is a reason for this and that is because it works. Now I can tell you this from experience, do not expect to get rich off of this money making method. It can take years of work to finally make a consistent income with this method and it is very competitive right now. However, this being said, I guarantee if you do put a few images up and upload consistently, you will start to see a little bit of money trickling in. And even if it's only $10, that's $10 more than you started with. Now this brings me to money making method number two, which is to work with local businesses. Now, unless you live out in the middle of nowhere, I guarantee there is a local business that can benefit from your photography skills. The key to success is go in knowing what you can offer the customer. If you're a landscape photographer, go in by telling them how you can take photos of the outside of their building. These photos can in return be used for print ads or maybe even photos for their store. Whatever the case may be, having a clear outline of what you can offer the customer will help get your foot in the door. Also, when you're working with the customer, don't be afraid to ask what other services they may need. Sometimes you might find that uh, they might need photos of their products for websites or maybe it's even postcards or greeting cards. You know, if you really work with the customer and you get to understand what they want and build that relationship, I guarantee they will keep calling you over and over again this is one of the best ways to make money out there and there are so many local businesses you just need to be creative now this brings me to money making method number three and that is print photography specifically find places that will let you hang your prints up for free out of all the money making methods on this list this one can be the most challenging there's a lot of upfront costs that you need to consider when doing this method. Keep in mind that you need to buy frames and you need to pay for the prints before you even sell the photo. This can get very costly very quick. One tip I do have for you is buy in bulk. If you can buy a bunch of frames and a bunch of prints in bulk, this will help cut back on the upfront cost. The other key with this method is think about selling photos at places where people go to buy artwork. Maybe think about selling photos at a local art fair. This not only will bring you in a little bit more money, but people are going there specifically to buy artwork. I can tell you from personal experience that if you go and put a photo up at a coffee shop, it's gonna be very difficult for that photo to sell, just typically because people don't go into coffee shops looking to buy print photography. Now this brings me to my money-making method number four, guys, which is small event photography. Specifically events like baby showers, back tisms, birthday parties, things in that nature where it's a lot less pressure, a lot more low key and people are there to have fun. I guarantee that this will be the most rewarding type of photography out there. Not only can you be creative, but usually the clients are more happy to work with you. I can tell you from experience when it's a bigger event or bigger wedding style photography, there's a lot more pressure. You have to get certain types of photos. Yes, the reward's great, but in the long run, the pressure and everything you'll go through, it can be it can be challenging and not only is it challenging it can be hard to get your foot in the door especially if you're new into photography whereas small event photography there's less competition it's really easy to get your foot in the door and it's a lot of fun i can tell you from personal experience i would rather shoot a small event all day every day than take one big event there's just no pressure the little bit of money i do make is great and hey, at the end of the day, that's all you're trying to do. So there you have it guys, four ways that you can earn money with your photography. Now remember, if you like this video and you wanna see more, smash that subscribe button down below and I will be catching you guys in the next video. Alrighty guys, peace.